So I woke up this morning with the intention of filming a YouTube video as I want to maintain this newfound schedule of mine to keep on track with things. Today I knew it had to be a filming day until I spent the morning researching. Okay, I was procrastinating. What started off as a pursuit of inspiration quickly turned into a spiral of self-doubt and the inability to come up with a video idea that I actually thought was good enough. See, today I really wanted to film something to help motivate and maybe inspire, but how could I motivate others if I couldn't even motivate myself? After hours of attempting to write notes, plan, and look for the inspiration I needed to get things off the ground, I suddenly realised what was really holding me back. Fear. See, it wasn't that I didn't have the ideas that I wanted to film and share, it's that I'd put so much pressure on myself that I had this internalised fear that something deep inside of me was saying, your ideas just aren't good enough. And then I remembered a blog post that I'd written about a year and a half ago, and actually I shared a snippet from that on my Instagram just the other day. The blog post is titled, Sometimes I don't start things in fear of them not being good enough. It was like a message from my past self speaking to me, and I had to laugh. And I also had to thank my past self because it was a reminder to my current self and also an indication of what to film for today's video. Sometimes I don't start things for fear of them not being good enough. I'd love to say I'm fearless and that nothing phases me, but if I'm quite honest, I don't think I am. In some aspects, I am that fearless person and my passion to do certain things knows no bounds. At other times though, the longing is there, however, Sometimes the feelings of self-doubt creep in and therefore I end up being held back by my own insecurities. I don't feel particularly insecure on the surface, but if a fear of not being good enough at something is holding me back from doing it, then surely I have to admit that it stems from insecurity. I think it comes down to knowing our strengths, or at least thinking we know them, and then getting into the habit of focusing on what we know and have been proven to be good at. For example, a pastry chef may be confident in their ability to make the most amazing profiteroles, but then ask them to say, make fresh pasta, and they may feel unsure of their capability to do it to the standard which they have perfected with the profiteroles, and so may be reluctant to even try. That is a somewhat random example, and there may be a pastry chef out there watching who's thinking, I can make amazing fresh pasta for your information. But my point is, stepping out of your comfort zone, even if only slightly, can be more daunting than we give it credit. And so we find ourselves saying things that we'd like to do, knowing full well that they're not entirely unachievable. However, we never get around to doing them due to something deep down holding us back. It's that hidden insecurity, which we often bury with the age old excuses of not having the right tools, not having enough time, enough money, and so on. When I think of the things I started when I had no clue and very little resources, but I went ahead and did them anyway, I think how different things maybe would have been if I'd never been brave enough to give them a go. My blog for me is probably one of my biggest examples. When I started my blog, I didn't even read them. I just had a passion to create and share, and so that's what I did. Of course, I look back at some of the old posts and I laugh to myself at their pointlessness, my questionable outfits, and my writing, or lack of, but if I hadn't started, I wouldn't be where I am now. Now I couldn't imagine not having my own little space on the internet where I share things and it still amazes me that it evolved into my job. But what if I'd never started? What if that self-doubt had crept in? What if I'd had that overwhelming fear of not being good enough and I hadn't just gone ahead and published that first post and continued to share regardless? Who knows, maybe I would have found something else that I was equally as passionate about to focus on. Maybe I wouldn't. All I do know, however, is that in starting, I have no regrets. And in fact, I feel thankful to my past self for being fearless enough to just start something new. Even when I look back at the things I tried and failed at, I never look back with regret because each thing taught me a lesson or two along the way. And if not, some of them just left me with funny stories, some of which maybe I can share in a future video but I guess it all comes down to the push. On one occasion, whilst chatting to a friend, I used this somewhat elaborate analogy. I said how the thing you want to do, but maybe feel too afraid to try, is like diving into a swimming pool from high up on a diving board. You find yourself standing on the diving board and looking down at the deep blue pool below. It looks appealing, inviting even, but you are so far away from it, it looks too scary to just dive right in. And so you wait stood at the top of the diving board, in your safe space if you like, looking into the deep blue water below, wondering and imagining what it would be like, but not feeling quite brave enough, or feeling like it's not quite the right time to just dive right in, until eventually, 
if you're lucky, you get the push. Either through forces outside of your control or through your own urges to just get on with it and jump in. Then you find yourself falling and plummeting into the freezing cold water. It's different. It's outside of your safe space and it can even be a shock to the system. But then you pull yourself to the surface and catch your breath. You realise that you did it. In fact, you're doing it right now. It still feels different, but you dived right in and now you're finally doing the thing that you've been wanting to do for the longest time. It's not necessarily easy, but you have two choices. You either stick in this pool and keep swimming, or you get out. The longer that you're in the water though, the more you find yourself getting used to it, and soon you start to swim. You even start to enjoy it and become good at it, and eventually you look back and think, I'm glad I dived in. Like I say, that was my very elaborate and somewhat long-winded analogy, but it's the best way that I can describe the process and it pretty much sums up some of my own experiences. And there have been plenty of times where I have got out of the pool, metaphorically speaking, after having dived in. It's important to know that not every experience will wind up being for you and that is completely okay. But then, if you never try, you'll never know. So next time you feel the fear, maybe ask yourself, what's it gonna be? Stay firmly planted on the board, or dive right in.